My name is Mike, welcome back to the shop, and today we're going to do something a tiny bit different. So, this is the carb, and yes, before people start shouting at me, yes, we're going to go through the whole series of carb videos. I've just got to cut the last bits. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, what we're going to talk about today is this shit cheap Chinese carb that was donated <laughs> by Banggood. You know, we had that whole thing with Banggood sending me loads of crap. Um, so, what we're going to have to do is we're going to actually have a look at this and see uh, what we can see you know what is this actually shit or is it not teardown style so let's have a look it's all in knots ah that's why i'm just trying to find out why everything's in bloody knots uh, ah, so we have a piece of pipe this is already kinked because you've strapped it down like twats. There's a broken piece inside. This is how it came. So there's a broken piece of the casting. Let me do magic, magic, mag magic, magic zoom. <laughs> like magic, magic E if you remember that. You need me, I'm magic E. Magic, magic E. So. There's a broken bit of casting in there. That's not fucking good. And that literally was the way it turned up in the box. Where did that fucking pop off from? We will never know. <laughs> oh, shit. So, we have our um, idle adjustment screw there. Oh, God, that's a fucking... Come on, lads. So, basically... Where are we? We've got this screw here, which has got a nice uh, knurlish kind of design, but it's got this fucking washer on the top of it that sticks into your hands when you try and put apply pressure to that screw. The spring is overkill. It is on an angle. You know, you can't fucking see properly. There, it is on an angle. So that spring is already been a fucking dick before you even start. That spring is way too much. All I can seem to do is wind off. I can't seem to fucking compress anymore let's get the old screwdriver out um these that one doesn't look like it is but the rest are actually gis can you fucking believe it so let's just let me find where the center is there's the center oh no, she will screw it's just not with any fingers which is the whole point of putting the knurling on the side of the thing so yeah, that spring's not having a good day out, is it? It's coil bound already, although that's shit loads because my throttle's fucking half open anyway. Has a fine thread on there, everything's galvanised. They've popped a, a, a metal bit, I like that. So there's a metal bit right in there where my thumb is, not that thumb, that thumb. <laughs> there's a metal bit right there, so this pointy section, it's like a rivet that's been popped in there and broken if you see that side. So it does screw, it's quite a fine thread, which is good because the fine thread gives you finer adjustment. Coarse threads give you a coarse adjustment, so that's not too bad. Um, but that spring, fuck me. <laughs> Pick the right springs, fellas, and get rid of that horrible fucking washer. It's these parts that they're probably, by the look of it, they just bought, you know, off the shelf. Just, yeah. And you don't need something that long, fuck me. So yeah, that horrible fucking take that washer off. The spring is actually ground on the bottom, which is quite incredible. You see there, look, we're already engaging. Just too heavy a spring. Far too heavy a spring. You don't need a spring that heavy, you can't even fucking see. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna find bloody where the camera is. But you see. That's just, yeah, it's just too much of a beefy spring. Get rid of that bloody washer, it doesn't really need it. The spring is weeble wobbling, but pfft. We've got protective caps and covers. The castings look, eh, like castings. Let me move that light a bit closer to the camera source. There we go. Everything's all shiny. That looks like, yeah, they've actually machined the inside. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. Any road, so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out slightly. And let's just pull all this shit off. Oh, 
God, now this is what I hate. So let me get all these clips off. Uh, where's my clip pliers? There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to just pull all these shitty clips off because they're fucking horrible. So, we've got this piping. This piping's quite interesting. It's black on the inside. So it's rubber coated with almost silicon, but it feels, when you rub it, it feels greasy. Um, we've got both of them clips off, yeah. No, this is what I don't like. Fuck's sake, wait till you see, see this. Now, all these screws here are JIS. That's torqued down pretty well. So what they've got is they've got this vacuum. This is a vacuum line, isn't it? Where are we going? Uh, we are, where were we going? We we're coming from here. Yeah, this is a vacuum line. So this is a vacuum line. But if you look, this is how it's held down. Let me get you right in. Oh, 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 there. So what we've got is we've got this collared thing here, look. And it's just a crimped piece of shitty plated steel but it's got a razor sharp edge on it you can see it's already digging in it's already digging in it's already been digging into the line fuck me like and it's been squashed fuck's sake that is look at it it's just savage it's like a fucking look it's like a vagina with teeth god heck no get away with that shite We've got um, our vacuum chamber, our diaphragm at the top. We've only got two screws. They've only decided that two screws are required. <laughs> yes, yes. We've got um, our split washers, of course. Shitty, shite split washers. Take our diaphragm out. This is just a pressed piece of steel. These have got sharp edges on. Nasty. Doesn't really matter so much. You see, now this is the thing, they press that out of steel, but like you go to like all your decent car manufacturers, these are plastic. Uh, the world's longest spring hasn't got much to it. Oh, oh, <laughs> so this is a deep drawn piece of steel. And, oh no, it could be. No, it's steel. Let's be magnet. Magnet. Oh no, yeah it is. Oh no it's not, it's not. It's a deep drawn piece of aluminium. It's the thing that's inside that's steel. So there's basically inside there, there's a cover plate with a screw in the bottom of it. Yeah, so this is a deep drawn piece of aluminium. And the whole thing's crimped together. This is the thinnest Johnny that I've ever seen. Fuck me. Um, oh, look at that razor sharp machining. I don't know how well you can make that out, but that is like like sharp. Have we got a piece of anything? <laughs> a piece of anything. Yes, we have a piece of anything. Let's see if we can cut a bit of paper on that. No. Oh, you could do actually. Yeah, you can quite easily. It's, it's, that's not. That's a shit demonstration. Fuck off, Matt. <laughs> this actually looks like. This actually looks like it's been polished. But it can't be electro polished because they'd have to. But look how fucking shiny it is in there. Jesus Christ! It's like they're spending time doing stuff that doesn't need to be done. While negating other things. What's the? Yeah, there's not much play on this. This looks actually like it's been anodized. Um, does this? Which is not a bad touch. It's a big whack, fucking whacking great big ball bearing in there. They've used as the. Um, I was talking about how you cross drill stuff and all the rest of it. They whacked it, but the. Hmm. Interesting. Nice little brass insert in there. Casting's a bit there. The weirdest thing is, there's a groove in the design. Oh, no, that is there, sorry. 
As I say, there's a groove in the design for an O-ring. <laughs> but it actually is incorporated into this uh, diaphragm here. It's not the nicest fit where it curls over though, but who cares. <sighs> Let's get some of all these other accessories and shit. These are all GIS, they've all got their little dots. We've got spring washers galore. But then spring washers I see on quite a few old carbs. This is just the um, ferrule holder for the uh, for your actual throttle, so it goes in here, wraps around here, and basically the the yeah the ferrule bit on the end sits in there. So your jacketed bit sits there, and throttle away you go. So we'll get rid of that bit. You can see there's another one of these. Now the, now this is the difference is that's a brass one. It doesn't look like it's been hammered in. It looks like it's been placed in. I'd love to pop one out. take this cover off this is where our vacuum line went to there should be another diaphragm in here yeah I was going to say so whacking great big fucking spring casting's fine hasn't been surface finished though at all another Johnny here so this is just a diaphragm spring with a seat and then a seat in there and then is that a bit of foam? You get a bit of that wire, something pocket to pull it out with. Achoo! Oh, there's another, there's another check valve in there. What is that? Because it looks like it's plastic. Mmm. <coughs> So we've got a jet there, an air bleed jet. Let's take off the automatic choke, which this big black thing here, if I've got fucking screws everywhere. This big black thing here, this is our automatic choke. Have I still got sound? Yes. So when this receives instructions from, I don't know, God? <laughs> oh, that's an o-ring that's been squashed beyond its limit it's quite a little expensive part that's a shit o-ring is that Jesus wept you got to bridge all these parts fellas you can't just fucking do circles like that um, take this plastic bit of shit off what does this say it says shit plastic and in here we should have our solenoid, solenoid, which <laughs> which isn't seating properly. I haven't touched that. You can see there, this clamp is bent. That's not fucking good. And it's only one-sided. They've kind of forgot the rest of it. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I'll give them one thing though, the threading isn't too bad, because usually the threading in Chinese stuff is just fucking shocking. So take that clamp off. We've got our check valve in there. Yeah, quite sophisticated actually. There you go, your plunger. It's got an o-ring on there that really isn't doing its job. There's some of the plastics bent back because of that clip there's like a scar in the plastic, you will probably be able to see that. We'll use that valve, because that valve will be pretty good for fucking around doing other stuff. Oh, right, the meat of it. This is our fuel in. With the shittiest fuel filter. Has that actually got anything in it? <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, we've got a fuel filter, but has it actually got a filtering element in it? Or is it just a fucking plastic? We'll check that out. Uh, I do like the electro polishing. I don't know if it's electro polishing, but that is. It actually might have been done by a machine because I can see the grooves, or maybe that's just the polishing out of it. That, that how shiny that is in there is amazing. Not really required, but it's amazing. Right, so on the bottom, ah, there's our bottom bits for our. Um, that's our drain. When I hit this, is that that spring? Yeah, I was going to say that fucking spring resonates every time you hit it. 
Anyhow, it just it just we felt weird, man. That's what she said. Oh, that's what the priest said. Oh no, our first one. You motherfucker. <sighs> yeah, these are made out of cheese, are these screws. Yes, before anyone whinges, this is a JIS. Right then. O ring in the bottom that doesn't. I don't know, everything just feels scabby. It's already squashed to an inch of its life. The casting is as rough as a dog's arse. It all looks like it's all been bead blasted after the fact. All of it. Let's have a look at our float ball and everything else. Fucking hell. See, they kind of waste money. <laughs> That's one of the biggest jets I've ever seen. And it's already been mullered. Someone's mullered this. Where's my fucking phone? Someone's mullered this. During installation, which is probably one of the worst things you can do. Fuck me. I don't know how well that's going to come out. Oh yeah, got a fucking super phone on, a uh, super camera on my phone. That's already mullered before I've even touched it. <laughs> uh, floats, yeah, this is the usual setup. Pin in there. Should come out easy because it's never been fucking used. So same kind of steel pin. Ooh. Ooh. So our knee our float valve here has got some kind of weird silvery looking it is like rubber or silicon weird fucking looking stuff that I can't say there's anything wrong with that I'll take a picture of that as well oh Just the finish of some of these things. The casting actually isn't that bad. Um, oh, the fucking some dickhead Paul fucking Albert's been at it with a fucking screwdriver again for that jet. So there's a jet in the bottom that's already been fucking. Someone's been at it. So this one, pilot jet, main jet. No, no, that's your main jet, you idiot. Well, hang about, there's a jet in there, and then it's been blocked off. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, a lot of these, the holes, they've all got burrs on. Eh, it's not the end of the world, though. Uh, flat blade. So many bloody screwdrivers, I can't fucking see what I'm looking for. That's too small. See, I didn't even muller it. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, there's our jet. Yeah, it's, already, it's been mullered around the outside. That's what I don't understand. The outside of the jet's been fucking mullered. It's a fucking flat blade, you twats. Holes, at least the holes concentric. These little jets. Little holes in there seem good. The thread seems good for one, that's quite incredible. They haven't done enough thread relief around there, that's how it's cut into the main body, but it's not the end of the world. There's a hole drilled there. You're not ever getting that out, however they got that in, so they've just basically forced that in. There's a jet there. Let's get our main jet out and see what all this looks like. Should get a fatter flat blade to be quite honest before I start doing that. That 
just fits. That's nice. Nope, she's staying. Nope, she's staying in there. So, our main jet. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right then, so, what, there's a big, there's a massive whacking great big bit there, can you see that, that insert, what the fuck is that for? It is aluminium, but for the life of me, where our butterfly is, there's no, ah, oh, yes, oh no, it's a plug off, so what you'll see is, how am I going to get a picture of that? That's going to be a dickhead. There are holes inside our polished bit. <laughs> and uh, there's four little holes that are basically in a square pattern that go down to, oh, where we're at, down to there. So in there, I don't know if you can make that out. If you can't make that out, let's take a picture. You can see there's four holes there, and that's basically directly above where that is. So this blanking plate here would have been for something, or from the designs that they pinched, or they bought from somebody. Um, basically, what you do is if you want to plug this in to plug that off, there has to be some holes for the air to get out when you plug that in. You'll see this a lot with carbs, um, and even like the, the the proper job is not these shit ones. Says here, designed in Japan on the side. I didn't notice that until now. Yes, it's been designed. It was originally someone's design from fucking way back, and you fuckers have bought it, which is fine. Bought these little balls blocking everything off. There. I can't, I can't get over that massive one. So there's a through there, through into here. So that's that. That one's been. So this entire passageway here is just oh, the vertical ones, just nonsense. That one goes through into your main jet. Ah. It's a good start. I'm not going to completely slag it off. The fit, the finish of things is fucking terrible still. Um, you know, these pipes, eh, probably shit. That cap doesn't look like it's been crimped on that well. This cap here. Um... The butterfly is all it's all brass, that's not a bad touch. It tends to stick slightly. I feel a resistance. Everything else looks good. Stainless steel spring. They're just taking these designs and just cheaping out on the fit and finish and stuff. And the thing is, like I say, that electro polish centre, I can actually see some tool marks where it's scrolled around in there like a helix. That's a bit bad, isn't it? They've literally polished the shit out of that. And to do that, you know, you'd have to basically clamp this down like this and then wing this around in a layer for them to polish it. I think it's been like manually polished, not electro polished. But like I say, electro polishing would, would have got the whole fucking lot. Um, someone did ask me recently, actually, about... Um, oh, they did ask me about polishing the inside of the cat. Don't bother, it's just fucking not worth it. It's just absolutely not worth it. You, people come out with all sorts of bullshit about flowing at higher RPM and all sorts of crap. You are never, ever, ever... It's not that you're just not going to notice it. Good luck fucking measuring it. Like, seriously, good luck measuring it. It's polished all the way to the back, though. Yeah. PD24J. Or PD24J. Ah. Trying to see the split. Oh, the split line's all the way through. Yeah. Just a very clean split line. Ah, it deviates a bit there. Split line, split line, split line. So on the inside here, they've completely got rid of the split line somehow. Probably through this sandblasting. 
that have broke off all the shit and all the swarp. There's a bit there, there's a tiny bit there that they've missed. But however this looks on the outside doesn't really matter, which is what they've tried to do with the sandblasting. Sandblasting aluminium is not generally a brilliant idea for the simple fact is, is you rub your greasy mitts on here and now it's ingrained in the fucking stuff. You know what I mean? Um, leave it as cast. That's the best thing. You're basically wasting time on that kind of process. You see this has got a couple of splits here, trying to get all this in. You can see the where the... Um, there you can see where the fucking... Oscar's fucking dead. <laughs> uh, you can see there where the, where the spring washers started to cut into the aluminium. I, this is... I don't know, there's something about it you can feel. It's very porous, is this aluminium. Very cheap, very porous, very, very light. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, they're, they're, they're getting there. They're getting there. This will run. I'm sure that this will run absolutely fine until about two or three years down the road, and then it'll start to fucking start to be a cunt to you. You know, um, I imagine it'll start leaking and some of these weird funky bits will shit the bed or rust like you, you know you, you think oh everything's galvanized everything's zinc plated everything's whatever it'll take no time because the thing is with plating is that you can have varying qualities of vastly varying qualities of plating and thicknesses and yada 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 um you know am i going to put this back together now feck it we'll just put this in the bloody bin or i'll just keep a lot of this aluminium so we can just fuck around with some parts um, you know, pull out some bits because I've got nothing to stick this onto. We could stick this onto the C90, but I'd much rather use a proper one um, because this is useless to people who are doing a C90. You know, they'd want to see the proper carb, so I'll get a proper carb off eBay and we'll do the tear down and we'll do the cleaning and all the rest and the setup for the carb for the C90. Um, yeah, it's just it's okay. It's okay. It's not the fucking end of the world. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.